Hello students, this is Pathology Chapter 6, Part 2. Examples of Molecular Chromosomal Abnormalities There are inherited disorders affecting the gingiva and periodontium, the jawbones and faces, and inherited disorders affecting the oral mucosa and the teeth. Inherited disorders affecting the gingiva and periodontium. Cyclic neutropenia. The oral manifestations are severe ulcerative gingivitis, gingivostomatitis, ulcerations on the tongue and oral mucosa, and repeated episodes lead to severe periodontal disease. Papillon Lefebvre syndrome occurs at about one and a half to two years of age, and a gingivoperiodontal inflammatory process develops. Both primary and the permanent dentition are lost prematurely in Papillon Lefebvre. Focal palmoplantar and gingival hyperkeratosis demonstrates hyperkeratinization of the palms and soles of feet and marked hyperkeratinization of labial and lingual gingiva. Notice the white appearance of the hyperkeratinized tissue. Gingival fibromatosis is a component of several inherited syndromes, including Leband syndrome and is composed of very firm tissue with a granular and corrugated surface. Inherited disorders affecting the jawbones and faces. Cherubism. The radiograph of the jaws reveals a characteristic soap bubble or multilocular appearance. Ellis Van Kreld syndrome results in fusion of the anterior portion of the maxillary gingiva to the lip extending from canine to canine, missing lateral incisors, presence of one centrally located abnormal tooth, the teeth have a conical shape, enamel hypoplasia exists, and there is the presence of natal teeth. Clidocranial dysplasia. The premaxilla is generally underdeveloped, resulting in pseudoprognathism. Patients have many supernumerary teeth, which are crowded in the jaws and do not erupt. Multiple cysts can develop in association with these impacted teeth. Gardner syndrome, also known as familiar colorectal polyposis, consists of osteomas of the facial skeleton which obliter obliterate the sinuses and cause facial asymmetry. Multiple odontomas can occur in the jawbones. Mandibulofacial dysostosis or treater collins syndrome is characterized by hypoplastic mandible, flattened condyles and coronoid process, an obtuse mandibular angle, teeth that are malposed, malocclusion with an anterior open bite, a high palate with a cleft in about 30% of cases. Nevoid basal cell carcinoma, or Gorlin syndrome, shows oral lesions which consist of multiple cysts of the jaws. Histologically, they are odontogenic keratocysts. Nevi are also observed on the skin. Typically, they are basal cell carcinomas. Osteogenesis imperfecta. It's a dentinogenesis imperfecta-like condition. In the mildest cases, the individual may only show blue, scler blue sclera. 
It also includes microdontia, and the teeth appear opalescent or translucent, but darken with age. The enamel is lost because of the abnormal dentin. Torus mandibularis, or mandibular tori, is an autosomal dominant inheritance pattern with variable expression and marked penetrance. Torus palatinus is an autosomal dominant inheritance pattern with variable expression and almost 100% penetrance. Maxillary exostosis is an autosomal dominant inheritance pattern, occurs on the buccal aspect of the maxilla, may be single, multiple, unilateral, or bilateral. Inherited disorders affecting the oral mucosa. Isolated cleft palate and cleft lip with or without cleft palate. This is an autosomal dominant inheritance pattern which may occur as a component of a large number of syndromes. Cleft lip palate and congenital lip pits are the most common syndrome. This shows the cleft lip palate and congenital lip pits of the van der Waal syndrome. The hereditary hemorrhagic telangiectasia, or Osler-Weber-Rendu disease, also known as Osler-Rendu-Parks-Weber syndrome, is characterized by multiple capillary dilations of the skin and mucous membranes called telangiectasias. Lesions in mucosa of the nasal cavities may cause epistaxis, or nosebleeds. There's also risk of gingival hemorrhage. Multiple mucosal neuroma syndrome, also known as MEN2B syndrome, includes tall patients with thick, large lips and mucosal neuromas prominent on lips, tongue, buccal mucosa, and eyelids. Early di diagnosis of this syndrome is imperative. Neurofibromatosis of Braun Recklenhausen or von Recklenhausen's disease is characterized by papules and growths on facial skin, eyelids, cafe au lait pigmentation on the skin. It is aggravated by puberty. It is accompanied by mental disability, multiple skeletal abnormalities, and has a malignant transformation. Pute's Jaeger syndrome is characterized by multiple melanotic macular pigmentations and gastrointestinal polyposis and hamartomas. White sponge nevus or familial white folded mucosal dysplasia is a dominant inheritance pattern with complete penetration which is characterized by white corrugated soft folding oral mucosa with a thick layer of keratin that desquamates and leaves a raw mucosal surface. The free gingiva is not affected. Inherited disorders affecting the teeth. Amylogenesis imperfecta is a group of inherited conditions affecting the enamel of teeth with no associated systemic defects. Type 1 hypoplastic amylogenesis imperfecta shows tooth enamel that does not develop to a normal thickness. It's autosomal dominant and autosomal recessive. Type 2 is hypocalcified amylogenesis imperfecta, which shows enamel of normal thickness, but por it's poorly calcified. Type 3, hypomaturation amylogenesis imperfecta, shows enamel that is softer than normal or snow-capped. Type 4, hypoplastic hypomaturation amylogenesis imperfecta is associated with torodontic teeth, it shows yellow to brown pitted enamel. Radiographically, the enamel has a radio density similar to dentin. Single rooted teeth have large pulp chambers. 
Dentinogenesis imperfecta, there are multiple types and are associated with osteogenesis imperfecta. Hereditary opalescent dentin, no pulp chambers or root canals are seen. Roots are short and thin with periapical radiolucencies. Dentin dysplasia is autosomal dominant. Type 1 is radicular where the teeth have normal crowns but abnormal roots and the teeth are generally exfoliated prematurely. Type 2, coronal, primary teeth are translucent with an amber color but the adult teeth appear normal. Hypohydrotic ectodermal dysplasia is a genetic heterogeneity characterized by hypodontia, partial anodontia, hypotrichosis, which is decreased hair, and hypohydrosis, which is decreased sweating. Hypophosphatasia is autosomal recessive. It shows a decrease in serum alkaline phosphate levels. It affects the formation of bone and cementum, and the teeth do not have cementum and exfoliate prematurely. Hypophosphatemic vitamin D resistant rickets is an X-linked dominant inheritance. Low serum levels of pho phosphorus has large pulp chambers with very long pulp horns. The dentin has pronounced cracks which lead to pulpal infections. Pegged or absent maxillary lateral incisors is an autosomal dominant inheritance pattern with variable expression. The lateral incisors may be small, peg-shaped, or congenitally missing. It can be unilateral or bilateral as far as missing teeth. Torodontism is a genetically heterogeneous condition with dominant and recessive inheritance. Large pyramid-shaped molars with large pulp chambers are seen and the furcation of the tooth is displaced apically. This concludes Pathology, Chapter 6, Part 2.